Matt Gates joins me now. All right, good evening, Congressman. Good evening, Judge. I think they're still finding ballots for Al Gore down in Broward County. It is a mess down there. It's like a banana republic. And when you've got supervisors of elections that violate transparency laws, that stand in the way of the constitutional rights of Floridians to see information, then you undermine our confidence in the election process. That's why getting the records, getting the ballots, and getting a just result is so important to all of us. You know, what I find interesting is that in the hearing yesterday, Matt, and I know, Congressman, I should say, and I know that you're familiar with what's going on. Uh, when, when Governor Scott had uh, requested uh, 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 the, uh, to, uh, the opportunity to review and to count and find out how they were determining the ballots, then what she says is, you don't have a right to look at this stuff just because you want it sped up. What is that about? Well, the law in Florida requires the supervisor of elections to make regular reports about how many people voted and in what method they voted. In Broward County, they simply ignored those laws. And then when we tried to use our Public Records Act to get the information, they stood in the way. After the judge ruled that they had to allow us to inspect the information by 7 o'clock that night, I showed up with Governor Scott's lawyers to try to see if we could learn more and we were stood away. We were told to come back at 10 o'clock the next morning. So time and again, you see the supervisors of elections violating court orders, violating state statutes, and that's the type of thing that allows fraud to grow. But, but, but the good the news, Judge. Yeah. Go ahead. The good news is that Ron DeSantis has a margin of victory that is that is beyond the, the reach of any fraud. He will be the governor elect and then the governor of Florida. Okay, so what it's you're Senator saying, Nelson, Congressman, excuse me, what, what you're saying is that Con Congressman DeSantis in the gubernatorial race has more than a half a point ahead of uh, that local mayor, Gillum. Well, uh, uh, correct. So there's not going to yeah, be a well, recount. He's, a, he's but actually but under. Congressman, the, no, the, there will be a machine recount. There will be a machine recount. He is under half a point. But our oh, expectation is. is there could be, yeah, he, his margin of victory is beyond the scope of any fraud. So he will have a machine recount. We have no objection to that whatsoever. We want every okay, legitimate okay, legal right. vote to be counted. Con Congressman, hang on. I want to ask you this question. If a judge determined, as I just read in my open, that this woman Snipes, who is the election commissioner, what is her official title? Supervisor of elections. All right. That this woman Snipes, two years ago, violated state and federal law. He actually <laughs> cited a case where someone was dismissed under similar circumstances. Would you please tell me why this woman was not dismissed, given the fact that the judge's decision suggests that she should be? And here we have Rick Scott, the governor, who could have dismissed her, who's now suffering because he didn't dismiss her as a candidate for Senate. Brenda Snipes is either too stupid or too corrupt to be running elections and counting ballots in Florida. The case you laid out is compelling. The reasons for her removal are, are just irrefutable. Unfortunately, Governor Scott hasn't used his authority to suspend her and put the state supervisor of elections in charge of this office so that we can find what the hell is going on in Broward County. So I think there is plenty basis for removal. There is legal authority that would allow the governor to remove Brent, uh, uh, Dr. Snipes. And there is a court order that she violated yesterday. So I think that we should not be waiting around any longer to see if new trucks show up with new ballots or who knows what other shenanigans could be possible. We need to have all the cards face up. Of course. And in a transparent Ooh. process, there won't be fraud. It's when you don't have transparency that fraud can exist. Clearly, but you're saying new trucks show up? What are you talking about? Well... No, last night when I stood outside the supervisor of elections office, there were trucks moving things on and off. Now, that could have been totally harmless. It could have been furniture they were moving in the middle of the night. But when I tried to videotape it, there were armed police that said that I was a safety hazard and I was not allowed to videotape what was being moved okay. in and out of the Broward okay. supervisor of elections office at night. All right, Matt Gates.